Hi, it's Blue here. I don't know who I'm really talking to, but I'm just sitting here tonight looking at YouTube and I've been following this Web 2.0 technology for a long time now. But YouTube's taken a shift. It's um what it's done is is it's it's really taken social networking to another level because now people are actually making video clips sort of as a an RE in an email um, about a previous video clip and there's just thousands upon thousands of videos but then there are a couple of thematic ones that are coming through and it's just mind boggling what, what is actually going on. I'm intrigued by it because I'm really interested in how it can work as a form of social networking and bringing people together. And a lot of people say that you know YouTube and MySpace and things like that are bad for people. But I don't necessarily think that's the case. I think it's more an issue of allowing people the freedom to experiment and learn. And in the process of doing that, their boundaries are expanded, their understanding develops, and, and they've got insight into themselves and what their life is about. And I think, I think that's what I'm getting at just here. And so I'm just trying to do the same thing in my chosen career, which is education. But I also try to do the same thing in the other things in my life that I'm interested in, which is running. And I guess the majority of the people that are looking at this clip are actually Cool Runners. And, um, and for those of you who don't know, Cool Running is a, um, a Web 2.0 site in Australia, set up a few years ago, www.coolrunning.com.au. And it's a community of runners that's not based in virtual reality, it's reality based in a virtual world where we all come together and we support each other. But while I'm doing this here, I'm just sort of, I keep flicking through these different YouTube clips and I just came across one about an Irish guy who's walking a thousand miles. And it's just mind boggling that I can get into his life and his thinking why he's doing that. And it just inspires me. inspires me to want to do something that I haven't done, inspires me to want to train for something that I haven't done, but it also inspires me that I want to connect and communicate and collaborate with other runners. And that's what Cool Running has done for me. It's brought a whole lot of people together. And let's face it, some of you cool runners I will never meet and some of you cool runners will never meet me but I feel I have an affinity with you all from what I've read or from what I've heard about you or from what I've seen of you and that's a really really strange thing that you can have that connection or bond with people that you actually don't even know and I think that's a good thing. And I think Web 2.0 is a good thing. And I'm going to fight the censors. I'm going to fight the people, the naysayers, who just say it's a trend. I just think we've evolved and we're making use of this technology as a tool. And I just think it's an a really, really good tool to be used for the betterment of me as a runner, I guess, and me being a runner in a running community. It's just a totally different world since I've come across Cool Running. So I don't know how this is going to turn out, this video, but it's just an attempt just to sort of express my thoughts that have been sort of inspired by actually a closer look at YouTube. So that's all from me now. For those of you who are wondering who I am, I'm Plu, P-L-U on Cool Running. And um, anyway, no one else may have listened to this video, but I've enjoyed doing it. 
So that's all for the time being and I'll just go back now to um, looking at YouTube and catching up with um, the Cool Running website.